Knee arthroscopy, or a knee scope, can be useful in the treatment of several causes of knee pain, including osteoarthritis, meniscus tears, and ACL tears. An anesthesiologist or nurse anesthetist discusses anesthesia with the surgeon and the patient. Usually, general anesthesia is used and the patient is completely asleep for the procedure. The knee is thoroughly cleansed and sterilized. Then the patient is draped in sterile drapes to avoid contamination of the operative site and prevent infection. A small incision is made in the knee through which a portal is introduced. Through this portal, sterile water is allowed to flow into the knee. This keeps the knee slightly inflated so that the surgeon can see. A second incision is made and another portal is placed in the knee. A camera is placed in this portal. The images from the camera appear on a screen so that the surgeon can see inside the knee joint. A third small incision is made so that instruments can be passed into the knee joint to work. One such instrument is known as a shaver. The surgeon uses the shaver to gently remove damaged tissue from the knee. When the procedure is finished, the instruments are removed. Sometimes the portal sites are closed with stitches, but not always. The knee is then dressed with a sterile dressing. When preparing for a knee scope, it is important that the patient be free of infection. Infections, even infections in the mouth and teeth, can spread to the knee. It is also important that the patient discuss any other medical problems with the surgeon and anesthesiologist so that they can assess the risk of undergoing surgery. The patient should not eat or drink anything the morning of surgery. What happens after the knee scope depends on what procedure was performed. It is usually a same-day surgery and the patient is allowed to go home not long after the procedure is finished. Often, the patient is allowed to bear weight immediately following the procedure. However, if certain procedures, such as a meniscus repair, are performed, the patient may not be allowed to bear weight. The surgeon will provide specific instructions after the procedure. The knee should be iced and elevated. It is normal for the knee to be sore after surgery. Many patients take a week or two to recover before returning to work. Risks involved in knee arthroscopy include bleeding, nerve or vessel damage, numbness, infection, blood clots, the possibility that the surgery will not relieve pain, and the possibility of need for further surgery. The patient is usually administered antibiotics and a blood thinner during surgery to prevent infection and blood clots. Knee arthroscopy has become a relatively routine and safe procedure.